Well, hey there, YouTube. Just wanted to make a quick video on this uh, rusty built power supply here. Gosh, I've had this thing for a long time now. Probably, I don't know, maybe seven years now, I'm guessing. Something like that. Six, seven years. It's been quite a while. Uh, this guy quit making these a while back. I don't, I don't believe he's making these anymore. But I know if you watch um, some of the guys that have been around, they've had supplies like this on their channels. This fella, he made two of them. He made a 150 amp model like this, and he also made a 75 amp model, you know, half the size. And, um, you know, since I don't think he's making these anymore, I figured I'd just do a video. And the only reason I have it open is... Um, the fans, one of the fans quit working on it. Uh, one of these little fans right here. So I'm just replacing those and just blew it out with some compressed air. But I figured since it's open, why not show it? So you see you got an on and off set, a switch with the with the reset on it there, with the brake, breaker little trip. You got your volt and your amp meter there. You got your variable voltage. It's supposed to go to like 9 to 14 volts. Um, most of these that I've seen, they're a little finicky, but they do work. Um, this probably should be upgraded to a, to a better type of potentiometer, I'm guessing. But, um, it does work. Then you got your positive and your negative post right there. Uh, what he's using here is two, um, computer power supplies. And most of these things, I believe they can only go up to like 12 volts. Obviously, they're modified so they can produce, you know, the higher voltage up to like 14.5 14 there. But um, it's all packaged in here real nice. And, um, you know, I don't know exactly how he's got them set up. If one's a slave and the other one's the main one or what, I have no idea. But... Um, you can see them chokes he's got in there for the RFI and everything. And there's your positive and negative going there. Or I guess this one here is just your uh, just your positive. Both of those are for your positive. You can see that wire there. Nice little setup he has though here. Um, I only use this now just to run my... My conics and the striker you see on my bench, so it doesn't even work it. It just idles. But um, you know you can use one of these to drive like a Texas Star six six seven just fine. Um, perfect Texas Star five hundred something like that. But his workmanship is really good in there, as you can see. I I know he's a ham radio guy. I think he sold most of these to ham radio operators. He's got a little. Uh, choke on the uh, negative there but that's real thick solid core wire right there and i know these have been modified somehow to get more voltage i'm not exactly sure you can see he's got some caps on there who knows what's been internally done i really don't know um i could probably take this strap off and see the model really not sure i'm just gonna leave it alone but um that's where the fans plug into the little board right there. See it in the front there. And, um, you know, when the lid goes on, uh, it's secured with rivets. Um, I made these little, when it goes back on, they, they hold them on so I can mount it to my cabinet. Got one on each side. I had to trim that one out a little bit to fit a couple screws. Um, if I can find my blind nut, my little nut certs, I may just use those and screws this time. If not, I'll rivet it back together. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd show it. It's a, it's a cool little power supply. It'll, it'll do the 150 amps, no problem. Um, like I say, I only use it for my radios now, but it is a solid, solid performer. And, um, I ordered it set up for 120 volts, but you can... I believe these are um, these will sense if it's 120 or 240. Um, I could probably plug it right into 240 and it'd probably be good to go. I'm not 100% sure, but I know he offered them in both. Uh, 
in both configurations. I, th there may be a switch you have to switch in here somewhere. I'm not sure. I'd definitely look into that before you did something like that. Yeah, just thought some of you guys like to see it. All right, thanks for watching.